Welcome to Chronicles of Time Sleep Stories. Finding moments of peace in the hustle and bustle of our lives can be a big challenging. Our channel is your sanctuary, a place where captivating tales blend with soothing tones, guiding you toward restful slumber. Escape from the noise, let go of the day's stresses, and allow our stories to transport you to realms of tranquility and dreams. Whether you're seeking relaxation, meditation, or simply a good night's sleep, you're in the right place. So, settle in, close your eyes, and let the journey to serenity begin. In our unceasing journey through the corridors of life, moments of pure, unadulterated tranquility can sometimes seem as elusive as shadows at noon. The modern world is a symphony of endless noises, from the incessant hum of digital screens to the ceaseless whispers of obligations, commitments, and desires. In this symphony, our souls often search for a gentle lullaby a melodious escape, a chance to pause, breathe, and simply be. Now, as you find yourself here in the magic of this narrative oasis, know that you've stumbled upon a sanctuary, a world where serenity isn't just a luxury, but a promise. Picture, if you will, a secluded haven, nestled amidst nature's embrace, where the wind hums lullabies, and time itself seems to tread lightly. This is where we invite you to journey with us, a place of meditation, reflection, and utter calm. Begin by taking a deep, resolute breath. Feel the cool air grace your nostrils, traveling through the depths of your lungs, filling your being with the ancient rhythms of existence. And then, as you exhale, imagine releasing the shackles of worry, stress, and the relentless march of time. Each subsequent breath is a step deeper into the heart of tranquility, a dance with the universe, an affirmation of the present moment. We live in an era where the very essence of our existence often feels fragmented. Pulled in myriad directions by demands, expectations, and the invisible threads of technology, it's easy to lose oneself. But these tales, each a gem sculpted from the rich tapestries of imagination and insight, seek to offer you a bridge. A bridge not just to sleep, but that in itself is a cherished realm of restoration, but to a state of soulful relaxation, where the world narrows down to the here and now, where every heartbeat is a reminder of life's simple beauties. These stories are not just words. They are portals. They beckon you into worlds where the pace is gentler, the colors more vivid, and the sounds harmoniously aligned with the rhythms of the cosmos. Here, amidst these tales, you'll find characters and landscapes that resonate with the deepest parts of your psyche, invoking a sense of familiarity and nostalgia. They're like old friends or forgotten dreams, waiting to welcome you back. As you immerse yourself in these narratives, let the outside world fade into soft focus. Envision your stresses and anxieties as leaves carried away by a gentle stream disappearing beyond the horizon. Let the weight of expectation, the clamor of responsibilities, and the noise of uncertainty be replaced by the soothing cadences of these stories. Every word, every phrase is a brushstroke painting a world of peace, inviting you to step in and explore. Sleep, that precious gift, is not just a physical necessity, but a balm for the soul. It's nature's way of healing, restoring, and rejuvenating. 
As you stand at the threshold of dreams, these tales are the gentle hands guiding you towards restful slumber. They remind you of the beauty of surrender, of letting go, of drifting into the comforting embrace of night. So, dear listener, as you embark on this journey with us, know that you are not alone. Through the magic of these tales, we are with you, sharing in your quest for tranquility and deep, restorative sleep. Let these stories be your anchor, your lighthouse, guiding you away from the tempests of daily life and into the calm waters of relaxation and dreams. Welcome to our sanctuary. Let the journey to serenity begin. The Fairyland of Avalon Chapter 1 The Accidental Journey It was a typical drizzly morning in London, with the clouds hanging low in the sky and the streets bustling with people in a hurry to get to work. Emily, a young archaeologist, was sitting in the dimly lit corner of a small cafe, nursing a steaming cup of tea. Her life, as of late, had been consumed by ancient texts, dusty relics, and the pursuit of history's mysteries. Emily had always been captivated by the past, an insatiable thirst for knowledge driving her to explore forgotten tombs, decipher cryptic inscriptions, and unearth the stories that lay hidden beneath layers of time. She had a knack for it, an intuition that allowed her to piece together fragments of the past like a master puzzle solver. Today, her attention was focused on a particularly intriguing map she had discovered in an old, neglected corner of the British Library. It was a map unlike any she had seen before, covered in enigmatic symbols and intricate drawings. The map's origins were a mystery, but Emily sensed that it held the key to something extraordinary. As her finger traced the lines on the parchment, she could feel a faint, almost imperceptible vibration. She leaned in closer, her heart racing with excitement. Could this be the map to an undiscovered archaeological wonder, a hidden civilization lost to time? She had to find out. Just as she was about to delve deeper into the map's mysteries, a sudden gust of wind blew through the cafe, rattling the windows and causing the candle flames to flicker wildly. Startled, Emily instinctively reached out to steady her papers, but in the process, her hand collided with a stack of books on the table beside her. Books tumbled to the floor, and the cafe's patrons turned to look at the commotion. Emily's face flushed with embarrassment as she hastily bent down to gather her scattered belongings. Among the fallen books was an old, leather-bound tome with a strange emblem etched into its cover, a curious spiral of intertwined serpents. Without thinking, Emily reached for the book, her fingers brushing against the emblem. In that moment, an electric shock surged through her body, and her surroundings seemed to blur and fade away. The world around her spun, and her vision was filled with a swirling vortex of colors and shapes. When the whirlwind of sensation subsided, Emily found herself in a place she could scarcely believe. She was no longer in the bustling cafe in London, but standing in the midst of a breathtakingly beautiful forest. Trees towered overhead, their leaves bathed in a soft, otherworldly light that cast an enchanting glow over everything. Emily became aware that this was not your typical woodland as she took in her surroundings and all. There was magic in it. There was soft light coming from the plants, and the air smelled of flowers she had never smelled before. 
Iridescent birds swooped among the branches, their haunting and entrancing tunes echoing in the air. In awe, Emily took a hesitant step forward, her boot sinking into the lush moss-covered ground. She could hardly believe what had just happened. It was as if she had been transported to a realm from a fairy tale, a land of myth and legend. It was then that she noticed a group of small, ethereal figures darting among the trees. They had delicate, gossamer wings that shimmered like opals in the soft light. Fairies, she realized with a gasp. They were fairies, and they were real. One of the fairies, a luminous being with golden hair and iridescent wings, approached Emily with a curious expression. She spoke in a lilting, melodic language that Emily couldn't understand, but somehow, Emily could sense the fairy's friendliness and curiosity. Where am I? Emily asked, her voice trembling with a mixture of fear and wonder. The fairy continued to speak in her musical tongue, but then, as if by magic, her words transformed into English in Emily's mind. You are in Avalon, the realm of the fairies, the fairy replied. You have been brought here for a purpose, Emily. Emily's mind was reeling. She had so many questions, but she didn't even know where to begin. Avalon? Fairies? How did I get here? The fairy smiled warmly. You were chosen, Emily, by the magic of the ancient tome you touched. You have a destiny in Avalon, one that has been foretold for centuries. As Emily listened to the fairy's words, a sense of both trepidation and excitement welled up within her. She had been thrust into a world of enchantment and mystery, and she couldn't help but feel that her life was about to take a turn she could never have imagined. The fairy introduced herself as Lyriel and explained that she was a guardian of Avalon's secrets. She offered to guide Emily through this mystical realm to help her understand her purpose and the significance of the ancient tome. With a nod of agreement, Emily decided to embark on this extraordinary journey, one that would test her courage, challenge her intellect, and lead her to discover the true nature of Avalon, its magic, and the power that resided within her. Over the next few days, Emily explored Avalon alongside Lyriel and other friendly fairies. She marveled at the wonders of this enchanting realm, the vibrant flora that responded to her touch, the cascading waterfalls that sang with crystalline melodies, and the hidden glens where creatures of myth and legend dwelled. But Emily also learned that Avalon was not without its challenges. The realm was filled with mysterious puzzles and trials that tested her wits and determination. She encountered enchanted mazes that seemed to shift and change with every step, riddles that guarded ancient relics, and mystical creatures that challenged her resolve. Through it all, Lyriel was by Emily's side, offering guidance and support. Emily soon came to realize that her journey in Avalon was not just about uncovering the secrets of this magical realm, but also about discovering her own inner strength and resilience. As the days turned into weeks, Emily delved deeper into Avalon's mysteries. She learned about the delicate balance of nature in this realm and the importance of safeguarding its magic from those who sought to exploit it for their own gain. She discovered that the fairies, like Lyriel, were the keepers of ancient knowledge and that their wisdom was a precious resource that had been preserved for generations. Emily also forged deep bonds of friendship with the fairies she met along her journey. They welcomed her into their close-knit community and together they shared stories, laughter, 
and moments of quiet reflection beneath the luminous moonlight. But Emily's most profound realization was that the power of trust and friendship was the key to Avalon's magic. In a world where secrets were closely guarded and alliances were forged with unbreakable bonds, Emily understood that her journey was not just about unraveling the mysteries of Avalon, but also about discovering the true meaning of connection and unity. As the weeks turned into months, Emily's quest took on a new sense of urgency. She began to uncover clues that hinted at the existence of a hidden source of immense power within Avalon, a source known as the Heart of Avalon. It was said to be the very essence of this mystical realm, a wellspring of magic that had been protected for centuries. Emily knew that the heart of Avalon held the key to Avalon's destiny and that the fairies had entrusted her with the task of safeguarding it. But as she delved deeper into her search, she also uncovered a looming threat, a group of dark sorcerers who coveted the power of the heart of Avalon for their own dark purposes. With a heavy heart, Emily realized that she had to act quickly to protect Avalon and its secrets. She knew that the final chapters of her journey would be fraught with danger, intrigue, and the need for quick thinking. She couldn't help but feel a growing sense of responsibility for the fairies who had become her friends and for the magical realm that had become her second home. As Emily and her newfound companions pressed onward, they encountered increasingly perilous challenges. They navigated treacherous terrain, crossed through enchanted forests filled with sentient flora, and deciphered cryptic clues that led them ever closer to the heart of Avalon. But their path was not without opposition. The dark sorcerers, led by a sinister figure named Malachi, were relentless in their pursuit of the heart. They sent mystical creatures and illusions to thwart Emily's progress, and they left a trail of darkness and corruption in their wake. In a particularly harrowing encounter, Emily and her companions found themselves trapped within a labyrinth and maze that seemed designed to confuse and disorient. The walls of the maze shimmered and shifted, forming ever-changing pathways that defied logic. Time seemed to stretch and warp within the maze's confines, and Emily began to doubt if they would ever find their way out. It was in this moment of uncertainty that Emily drew upon the lessons she had learned in Avalon, the importance of trust, friendship, and self-belief. She turned to her companions, her voice steady despite her fear. We can overcome this maze together she declared. We have the power of unity and trust on our side. With renewed determination, Emily and her friends worked as a team, relying on their instincts and intuition to navigate the shifting maze. As they did, the very walls of the labyrinth seemed to respond to their unity, guiding them toward the maze's center. At last, they emerged victorious, standing before a magnificent pedestal upon which rested a glowing crystal. It was a fragment of the heart of Avalon, a piece of the source of all magic in this realm. The fairies who accompanied Emily looked upon the crystal with reverence, for they knew that it held the key to Avalon's salvation. But their triumph was short-lived, for the dark sorcerers were closing in. Malachi and his followers had tracked Emily's every move, and they would stop at nothing to seize the crystal and the power it contained. Emily and her friends set out on a risky quest to find the heart of Avalon before the sorcerers could get their hands on it in a desperate race against time. They came across more obstacles and mysteries on their journey such as guardians from the past who put their value to the test and muttered predictions about Avalon's future. With each step, Emily felt the weight of her destiny pressing upon her. 
she had become a guardian of Avalon's magic, entrusted with the task of preserving its ancient secrets and protecting the heart of Avalon from falling into the wrong hands. The fate of this mystical realm and the bond she had formed with the fairies now rested squarely on her shoulders. As they neared the heart of Avalon, the final showdown with the dark sorcerers loomed on the horizon. Emily knew that she would have to draw upon all the knowledge and magic she had acquired in Avalon, as well as the unwavering trust of her companions, to face the ultimate test. The confrontation with Malachi and his followers was a clash of magic and wills. Spells and incantations filled the air as Emily and the dark sorcerers engaged in a battle of wits and power. The very fate of Avalon hung in the balance. But Emily had learned that the strength of her bonds with the fairies and her belief in the magic of Avalon could overcome even the darkest of forces. With a brilliant burst of light and energy, she harnessed the power of the heart of Avalon and, together with her friends, drove the sorcerers back. In the aftermath of the battle, Malachi and his followers were defeated, and the heart of Avalon was returned to its rightful place, its magic once again flowing freely through the realm. Avalon was saved from the threat of darkness, and Emily had fulfilled her destiny. As the fairies celebrated their victory, Emily couldn't help but reflect on the incredible journey she had experienced. She had come to Avalon as a curious archaeologist seeking knowledge, but she had emerged as a guardian of magic and a champion of trust and friendship. Her adventure had taught her that sometimes, the greatest discoveries were not buried in the sands of time, but were found within the depths of the heart. Chapter 2 Secrets Unveiled as days turned into weeks, Emily's life in Avalon became a tapestry of enchanting experiences and profound revelations. Each new day brought with it a sense of wonder and discovery as she delved deeper into the mystical realm of the fairies. Emily found herself spending most of her time in the company of her newfound friends, the fairies who had welcomed her into their close-knit community. They taught her the ways of Avalon, introducing her to the secrets of the land, its ancient traditions, and its rich history. One sunny morning, Emily sat with Lyriel on a mossy bank beside a crystal clear stream that meandered through the heart of the forest. The gentle sound of flowing water provided a soothing backdrop to their conversation. Lyriel, Emily began, her voice filled with curiosity, you mentioned that I have a purpose here in Avalon. Can you tell me more about it? Why was I chosen? Lyriel, her wings shimmering in the dappled sunlight, regarded Emily with a serene smile. You were chosen, Emily, because of your unique connection to the ancient tome and your innate ability to unlock the mysteries of Avalon. The magic that brought you here recognized something special within you. Emily furrowed her brow, intrigued but still puzzled. But what exactly is my purpose here? What am I meant to do in Avalon? Lyriel leaned in closer, her eyes filled with a gentle wisdom. Your purpose, Emily, is to help us protect Avalon and the heart of Avalon, our most sacred artifact. You see, the heart of Avalon is the source of all the magic in this realm. It sustains the balance of nature, the harmony of our society, and the very essence of our world. Emily's eyes widened in realization. So, you're saying that the heart of Avalon is like the life force of this entire realm? Lyriel nodded. Exactly. It is the heart and soul of Avalon. 
But with great power comes great responsibility, and the heart of Avalon must be safeguarded from those who would seek to misuse its magic. Emily's heart swelled with a sense of purpose. She had always been drawn to the past and to the preservation of history, and now she found herself entrusted with the task of preserving the very essence of a magical realm. It was a responsibility she did not take lightly. I will do everything in my power to protect Avalon and the heart of Avalon, Emily vowed, her determination shining in her eyes. Lyriel placed a hand on Emily's shoulder, her touch warm and reassuring. We believe in you, Emily. You have the heart and the spirit to fulfill this destiny. But know that you won't be alone. We, the fairies of Avalon, are here to guide you and stand by your side. As the days passed, Emily's training in the ways of Avalon continued. She learned to tap into the magic that permeated the realm, harnessing its energy to perform feats that had once seemed impossible. She discovered that the natural world in Avalon responded to her presence as if the very land recognized her as its guardian. One day, while walking through a tranquil glade, Emily extended her hand toward a cluster of bioluminescent flowers. As she focused her thoughts and intentions, the flowers responded by blooming in a riot of colors, their petals unfurling to reveal a breathtaking display of luminescence. Lyriel, who had been observing with a smile, nodded in approval. You have a gift, Emily. The magic of Avalon flows through you, and you have the ability to influence the natural world. It is a rare and powerful connection. Emily marveled at the display of magic she had just witnessed. It was as if the very essence of Avalon resonated with her, and she felt a profound sense of belonging in this mystical realm. As Emily delved deeper into her training, she also came to understand the importance of trust and friendship among the fairies of Avalon. The bonds that existed within their community were unbreakable, forged through countless generations and nurtured by the magic of the realm itself. She spent time with fairies of all ages and backgrounds, each one sharing their stories and wisdom. There was Briston, the elderly historian who held the knowledge of Avalon's ancient past, Alolan, a mischievous young fairy with a penchant for pranks, and Rowan, a skilled herbalist who could heal with the touch of a leaf. Emily's closest friend among the fairies, aside from Lyriel, was a spirited and adventurous fairy named Talia. With her sparkling sapphire wings and boundless curiosity, Talia was always eager to show Emily the hidden wonders of Avalon. One sunny afternoon, Talia led Emily to a hidden glen where a mesmerizing waterfall cascaded down a shimmering cliffside. The water danced with a myriad of colors, reflecting the enchantment of Avalon itself. This is the Rainbow Falls, Talia said with a twinkle in her eye. It's said that the colors of the waterfall hold the secrets of Avalon's magic. Emily watched in awe as the waterfall's hues shifted and changed, creating patterns and images that seemed to tell a story. It was as if the very water itself was alive with ancient wisdom. Talia continued, the Rainbow Falls had been a place of reflection and meditation for the fairies for centuries. It is here that we seek guidance from the magic of Avalon and connect with the spirits of our ancestors. Emily nodded, captivated by the beauty and significance of the place. It's truly magical, Talia. Talia grinned mischievously. Would you like to try something special, Emily? Intrigued, 
Emily followed Talia to the edge of the waterfall. With a mischievous twinkle in her eye, Talia extended her hand, and a shimmering droplet of water floated into her palm. She then offered it to Emily. Place this droplet on your forehead, close your eyes, and let your thoughts flow, Talia instructed. The magic of Avalon will reveal its secrets to you. Emily did as instructed, feeling the cool, shimmering water touch her skin. She closed her eyes and allowed her thoughts to drift, her mind attuned to the gentle rhythm of the waterfall. In that moment, it was as if she became one with Avalon's magic. Visions and images began to flood her mind, scenes of ancient ceremonies, mystical symbols, and the history of Avalon's guardians. It was as if the very essence of the realm was whispering its secrets to her. When Emily opened her eyes, she found herself back in the glen, Talia watching her with a knowing smile. What did you see, Emily? Emily struggled to put her experience into words. I saw glimpses of the past, of the fairies who have protected Avalon for generations. I saw symbols and rituals, and I felt a deep connection to this realm, as if it were a part of me. Talia's eyes sparkled with approval. You have glimpsed the ancient knowledge of Avalon, Emily. It is a gift that only a few are granted. You are truly becoming a part of this realm. As Emily continued her training and exploration of Avalon, she couldn't help but feel a growing sense of attachment to the mystical land and its inhabitants. The fairies had become like a second family to her, and the wonders of Avalon felt like a second home. But amidst the enchantment and beauty of Avalon, Emily also became aware of the looming threat that cast a shadow over the realm. She had learned from Lyriel that there were those who sought to exploit the magic of Avalon for their own dark purposes. The dark sorcerers, led by the malevolent Malachi, were a formidable and dangerous group. They coveted the power of the heart of Avalon, believing that it could grant them unimaginable power and dominion over the realm. Emily knew that her journey in Avalon was not just about discovering its secrets, but also about protecting them from those who would misuse them. She had a growing sense of responsibility, not only to her fairy friends, but to the very essence of the realm itself. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the forest was bathed in the soft glow of twilight, Emily sat with Lyriel beside a tranquil pond. The water reflected the fading light, creating a mirror-like surface that seemed to hold the secrets of Avalon. Lyriel spoke solemnly, Emily, the time has come for you to embark on a quest, one that will test your courage and determination. You must journey to find the heart of Avalon before the dark sorcerers do. Emily nodded, her heart filled with resolve. I will do whatever it takes to protect Avalon and the heart of Avalon. I won't let the dark sorcerers succeed. Lyriel placed a hand on Emily's shoulder, her eyes filled with gratitude. You have a brave heart, Emily. But remember that you are not alone. We, the fairies of Avalon, will be with you every step of the way. With a sense of purpose burning within her, Emily began to prepare for the perilous quest that lay ahead. She knew that the path would be fraught with danger, and she would need to rely on her newfound knowledge, the magic of Avalon, and the unwavering trust of her companions to succeed. The fairies gathered to offer their support and guidance, sharing their wisdom and blessings with Emily. As the moon rose in the night sky, casting a silvery glow over the forest, 
they formed a circle and chanted ancient incantations that would protect and empower her on her journey. Emily could feel the magic of Avalon enveloping her, filling her with strength and purpose. She knew that she was ready to face the challenges that awaited her, to confront the dark sorcerers and protect the heart of Avalon. With a final farewell to her fairy friends, Emily set out on her quest, guided by the light of the moon and the whispers of the ancient forest. She knew that her adventure in Avalon was far from over and that the destiny she had embraced would lead her into a world of mysteries, perils, and the enduring magic of friendship. Chapter 3 Perils and Mysteries as Emily embarked on her quest to find and protect the heart of Avalon, she was keenly aware of the perils and mysteries that lay ahead. The path she had chosen was fraught with challenges, and she knew that she would need every ounce of her courage and cunning to succeed. Guided by the wisdom of her fairy friends and the magic of Avalon, Emily ventured deeper into the mystical realm. The landscape seemed to shift and change with each step, revealing hidden wonders and secrets that challenged her understanding of reality. One of her first challenges came in the form of an enchanted forest, where the trees themselves seemed to come to life. Their branches twisted and contorted like serpents, and their leaves whispered eerie incantations in an ancient language. Navigating the forest was like solving a living puzzle. Emily relied on the guidance of the fairies, who knew the secrets of this bewitched woodland. They showed her how to read the patterns of the leaves, decipher the murmurs of the branches, and find her way through the maze of sentient trees. As they emerged from the enchanted forest, Emily couldn't help but feel a sense of triumph. She had overcome her first trial in Avalon, and her confidence in her abilities grew. She was determined to press on, knowing that greater challenges awaited her. Her journey led her to a hidden glen where a mystical pool shimmered with an iridescent glow. The fairies referred to it as the Pool of Reflection, and it was said to hold the key to unlocking the secrets of the realm. Emily knelt beside the pool, her reflection dancing on its surface like a living painting. She had been told that the pool of reflection could reveal the past, present, and future of Avalon to those who possessed a pure heart and unwavering resolve. As she gazed into the pool, images began to ripple across its surface like watercolor paintings coming to life. She saw glimpses of ancient ceremonies, fairies tending to the vibrant flora, and powerful sorcerers who had once sought to control the heart of Avalon. One vision stood out, a dark figure cloaked in shadows, his eyes filled with malevolence, reaching out toward the heart of Avalon. It was Malachi, the leader of the dark sorcerers. Emily knew that this vision was a warning, a reminder of the threat that loomed over Avalon. With newfound determination, Emily vowed to do whatever it took to stop Malachi and protect the heart of Avalon from falling into his grasp. She knew that time was of the essence, and her quest became a race against the clock. Her journey continued through ever-changing landscapes, each one more breathtaking and treacherous than the last. She encountered mystical creatures that tested her resolve, from graceful unicorns to mischievous sprites. She learned to communicate with the creatures of Avalon, forging bonds of trust and friendship that would prove invaluable on her quest. But Emily's path was not without its challenges. In one particularly perilous encounter, she found herself facing a massive, ancient guardian known as the Stone Sentinel. The guardian, a colossal statue carved from living rock, 
blocked her way and demanded a riddle as the toll for passage. Emily's heart raced as she pondered the riddle. The guardian's gaze bore down on her, unyielding and imposing. She knew that the answer held the key to continuing her journey, but the riddle was a formidable puzzle. With a deep breath and a steady mind, Emily carefully considered the riddle and the clues hidden within it. The fairies whispered their insights, guiding her thoughts toward the solution. After what felt like an eternity, Emily's eyes lit up with understanding, and she spoke the answer with conviction. The stone sentinel's stony expression softened, and it stepped aside, allowing her to pass. As she continued her quest, Emily couldn't help but reflect on the lessons she had learned in Avalon. The challenges she faced were not just tests of her intellect and strength, but also opportunities for growth and self-discovery. She had learned that trust and friendship were her greatest assets, and that the bonds she had formed with the fairies and other creatures of Avalon were a source of strength and support. The magic of Avalon flowed through these connections, reinforcing her resolve and empowering her on her journey. In her encounters with the fairies, Emily also discovered the importance of preserving the secrets and knowledge of Avalon. She realized that the magic of this realm was a precious resource, one that had been carefully guarded for generations. It was a legacy worth protecting, and Emily felt a profound sense of responsibility to ensure its preservation. But the looming threat of the dark sorcerers remained a constant shadow over her quest. Emily knew that Malachi and his followers were relentless in their pursuit of the heart of Avalon, and she couldn't afford to falter in her mission. As her journey brought her to new and remote corners of Avalon, Emily began to uncover clues that hinted at the heart of Avalon's whereabouts. Ancient texts, cryptic symbols, and the whispers of the natural world all pointed toward a hidden sanctuary known as the Sacred Grove. The Sacred Grove was said to be a place of great power, a sanctuary where the heart of Avalon was protected by powerful enchantments and guarded by ancient spirits. It was a place that had remained hidden from those who sought to exploit the realm's magic for centuries. Emily knew that the Sacred Grove was her destination, the final piece of the puzzle in her quest to protect the heart of Avalon. With the guidance of the fairies and the magic of Avalon at her side, she set out to find this hidden sanctuary. Her journey took her through dense forests, across meadows adorned with rare and vibrant flora, and along winding rivers that seemed to sing songs of ancient lore. Each step brought her closer to the heart of Avalon, but it also brought her closer to the dangers that lurked in the shadows. One moonlit night, as Emily and her companions rested beneath a canopy of ancient trees, a sense of unease settled over the group. The air grew still, and the sounds of the forest fell silent. Lyriel, her expression grave, whispered, we are being watched, Emily. The dark sorcerers are closing in. Emily's heart quickened with a mixture of anticipation and anxiety. She had known that this moment would come, the final showdown with Malachi and his followers. The fate of Avalon hung in the balance, and she could not afford to fail. With the fairies by her side, Emily set a watchful perimeter, her senses alert to any sign of the approaching threat. It wasn't long before the dark sorcerers revealed themselves, emerging from the shadows like phantoms of darkness. Malachi, his dark robes billowing, stepped forward with a wicked smile. So, little guardian of Avalon, you thought you could outweigh us? You are too late. 
the heart of Avalon will soon be ours. Emily clenched her fists, her determination unwavering. You won't succeed, Malachi. Avalon's magic will never fall into the hands of darkness. The battle that ensued was a clash of magic and wills, a test of strength and resolve. Spells and incantations filled the air as Emily and her companions faced off against the dark sorcerers. But Emily had learned that the true power of Avalon lay not just in the magic of its artifacts, but in the bonds of trust and friendship that united its protectors. With a brilliant burst of light and energy, she harnessed the magic of the realm, weaving it into a powerful spell that drove the dark sorcerers back. Malachi and his followers, defeated and disoriented, retreated into the shadows, vanishing from sight. Emily had emerged victorious, and the heart of Avalon remained safe, its magic undisturbed. As the fairies celebrated their hard-fought victory, Emily couldn't help but feel a profound sense of relief and accomplishment. She had faced the greatest challenge of her journey and had triumphed, protecting Avalon and its magic from the clutches of darkness. But she also knew that her quest was not over. The heart of Avalon still needed to be safeguarded, and Emily was determined to ensure its protection for generations to come. With the fairies by her side, Emily returned to her exploration of Avalon, her heart filled with a newfound sense of purpose. She delved deeper into the realm's mysteries, uncovering ancient artifacts, deciphering cryptic inscriptions, and learning from the natural world itself. One day, as she stood on a cliff overlooking a breathtaking vista of rolling hills and pristine lakes, Emily realized that her journey in Avalon had transformed her in ways she could never have imagined. She had become a guardian of magic, a protector of secrets, and a champion of trust and friendship. She had also forged bonds with the fairies and other creatures of Avalon that were unbreakable, a testament to the enduring power of connection and unity. As Emily continued her exploration, she knew that her adventure in Avalon was far from over. There were still mysteries to unravel, challenges to overcome, and magic to discover. But she faced the future with a heart full of wonder and a spirit forever changed by the enchantment of Avalon. Chapter 4 The Heart of Avalon With the threat of the dark sorcerers thwarted and the heart of Avalon safe from their grasp, Emily's quest in the mystical realm continued. Her journey had become a tapestry of enchantment and discovery, and she now stood on the brink of uncovering the ultimate secret, the location of the heart of Avalon. Guided by the wisdom of the fairies and the magic of the realm, Emily pressed onward, her determination unwavering. The clues she had uncovered pointed to the sacred grove as the sanctuary where the heart of Avalon was protected by ancient enchantments and guarded by spirits of great power. The path to the sacred grove was treacherous and filled with challenges. It led through dense forests where the trees whispered ancient incantations and across meadows adorned with vibrant and rare flora. Emily's trust in her fairy companions was unshakable, and together, they ventured deeper into the heart of Avalon. As they journeyed, Emily couldn't help but reflect on the lessons she had learned in Avalon. The challenges she had faced had tested her intellect, strength, and resolve, but they had also revealed the power of trust, friendship, and unity. The magic of Avalon flowed through her, reinforcing her connection to the realm and its guardians. The creatures of Avalon had become her steadfast allies, 
and she had learned to communicate with them in ways she had never imagined. Unicorns, sprites, and creatures of myth shared their wisdom and knowledge, strengthening her bond with the natural world. One moonlit night, while resting beneath a canopy of ancient trees, Emily felt a shift in the air. The forest grew still, and a sense of unease settled over the group. The fairies, with their keen senses, sensed the presence of a powerful being nearby. Lyriel, her eyes filled with both caution and curiosity, whispered, There is a guardian of Avalon nearby, a spirit of the ancient forest. It is said to hold the key to unlocking the path to the sacred grove. With bated breath, Emily and her companions followed the guidance of the fairies, their senses attuned to the presence of the guardian. As they ventured deeper into the forest, they came upon a clearing bathed in ethereal moonlight. There, standing tall and majestic, was the guardian of the ancient forest, a colossal, spectral stag with antlers that seemed to touch the very heavens. Its eyes shone with a wisdom that transcended time, and it regarded Emily with a knowing gaze. The stag spoke, its voice a deep and resonant echo that seemed to come from the heart of the forest itself. You seek the path to the sacred grove, guardian of Avalon. To prove your worth, you must answer a riddle. Emily nodded, her resolve unwavering. She had faced challenges before and had come to understand the importance of patience and keen observation. She was ready to meet the guardian's test. With a regal nod, the guardian intoned the riddle. I dance upon the morning's light. With grace and beauty, I take flight. In dreams and tales, my form is found. In starry skies, I can't be bound. What am I, guardian of Avalon? Emily furrowed her brow, her mind racing to decipher the riddle. The fairies whispered their insights, guiding her thoughts toward the solution. She knew that the answer held the key to unlocking the path to the sacred grove. After a moment of contemplation, Emily spoke the answer with conviction. You are a butterfly, guardian of Avalon. The stag's eyes gleamed with approval, and it lowered its massive antlers, allowing Emily and her companions to pass. The forest seemed to part before them, revealing a hidden trail that led deeper into the heart of Avalon. As they followed the path, Emily couldn't help but feel a sense of accomplishment. She had overcome the guardian's test and had earned its trust. The path to the sacred grove was now open to them, and the ultimate secret of Avalon awaited. As they journeyed deeper into the heart of the realm, the air seemed to hum with ancient magic, and the very land itself whispered secrets of the past. Emily could feel the presence of the heart of Avalon drawing nearer, its power a palpable force that resonated with her very soul. Finally, after days of travel, they arrived at the entrance to the sacred grove. It was a place of unparalleled beauty, where ancient trees stood tall and majestic, their leaves shimmering with an otherworldly light. The air was filled with a sense of peace and reverence that spoke to the sanctity of the place. At the heart of the grove stood a towering, ancient oak tree, its branches forming a natural canopy that seemed to embrace the sky. Emily could sense the presence of powerful enchantments that protected this sacred sanctuary. Lyriel stepped forward, her voice filled with reverence. This is the sacred grove, Emily, the place where the heart of Avalon is safeguarded. But to reach it, we must pass the final test. Emily nodded, her heart filled with anticipation. 
She had come so far, and the ultimate secret of Avalon was within her grasp. She was ready to face whatever challenges awaited her. The fairies gathered around Emily, their wings shimmering in the dappled light of the grove. Together, they chanted ancient incantations, calling upon the spirits of the sacred grove to reveal the path to the heart of Avalon. As they chanted, the very ground beneath their feet seemed to shift and transform. A hidden passage emerged, leading deeper into the heart of the ancient oak tree. It was a passage that had remained concealed for centuries, known only to the guardians of Avalon. With a sense of awe and reverence, Emily and her companions entered the passage, the air growing cooler and more charged with magic as they descended deeper into the tree. The path was illuminated by the soft, ethereal glow of bioluminescent fungi that adorned the walls. Finally, they arrived at a chamber bathed in a radiant, golden light. At the center of the chamber stood a magnificent, crystalline pedestal upon which rested the heart of Avalon. It was a breathtaking sight, a radiant, glowing crystal that pulsed with the very essence of magic itself. Emily could feel the power of the heart of Avalon coursing through her, filling her with a sense of wonder and awe. It was as if the heart and soul of Avalon were laid bare before her, and she was humbled by the responsibility that had been entrusted to her. Lyriel spoke softly, her voice filled with reverence. This is the heart of Avalon, Emily, the source of all magic in our realm. It sustains the balance of nature, the harmony of our society, and the very essence of our world. Emily approached the crystal with a mixture of trepidation and awe. She knew that this was the moment she had been destined for, the culmination of her journey in Avalon. She extended her hand toward the heart of Avalon, feeling its energy pulsating beneath her fingertips. As she touched the crystal, a rush of memories and visions flooded her mind. She saw the history of Avalon, the guardians who had protected it for generations, and the ancient rituals that had preserved its magic. She felt a deep connection to the realm and to the fairies who had become her family. But she also saw the looming threat of the dark sorcerers, the danger they posed to Avalon, and the responsibility that rested on her shoulders to protect the realm's magic. With a deep breath and a profound sense of purpose, Emily vowed to safeguard the heart of Avalon with all her strength and determination. She knew that her journey in Avalon had transformed her, and she had become a true guardian of magic and protector of secrets. As she withdrew her hand from the crystal, a sense of peace and fulfillment settled over her. She had fulfilled her destiny in Avalon, and the realm's magic flowed through her, reinforcing her connection to this enchanted land. With the heart of Avalon safely protected once more, Emily knew that her adventure in Avalon was far from over. There were still mysteries to unravel, challenges to face, and the enduring magic of friendship and trust to cherish. As she left the sacred grove and emerged into the dappled light of the forest, Emily felt a deep sense of gratitude and wonder. Her journey in Avalon had been a testament to the power of belief, trust, and the magic that lay within the heart. With the fairies by her side and the heart of Avalon as her guide, Emily prepared to continue her exploration of the mystical realm. She faced the future with a heart full of wonder, a spirit forever changed by the enchantment of Avalon and the knowledge that she was now its guardian and protector for generations to come. 